Tonight is November the 26th, 2014, and I'm going to try to make a, uh, a quick video tonight, all one shooting, and um, post this, and maybe, maybe some of you have some good ideas. Okay, what I'm doing, well, what the problem is, is I've been working on this MC40 for some time, and I just can't get its high frequency response acceptable. I have the best of the best in it. I have the uh, 70, darn, I can't remember the numbers. These are the uh, 7581s. I think that's what they're called. I may be wrong about that. 6L6s. These are uh, Mullard uh, 10M series, 12AX7. That's an RCA. Another 10M series, the 10M series under there. High dollar stuff that I've had for decades. And I'm going to compare it to this little amp right here that I built back in 1977. This is actually a Macintosh channel, an exact duplicate out of a uh, MA230, except I use six CEA7s in, instead of the 7591s. I'm going to document this one, and then I'm going to do this one, and I'll show you where my frustration is. Okay, we'll start out by, let's start out at, say, um, two kilohertz. That's where we'll set our reference. The MA230 is rated at 30 watts. And there it is, putting out 30 watts. There's its THD, and there's its voltage. That squared divided by 8 equals that. No big deal. Okay, that's uh, two kilohertz. There's its frequency. Wish I could show all this at once. Maybe I can. So you see the frequency, voltage, THD, and power. Okay, that's at two uh, two kilohertz. So let's let's go to the bottom. Let's go to 20 hertz. It takes it a second to kind of catch up at the low frequencies. Okay, see there's 20 hertz. There's our voltage. Our THD is a half percent. 30 watts. Haven't changed a thing. Does 30 watts? I think all we got to do is really is look at these three right here. Does 30 watts at 20 hertz. Now I'm going to go to 200 hertz. Does 30 watts at 200 hertz. There's its frequency. Go to 2 kilohertz. There you go. 0.15% 30 watts at 2 kilohertz. And 20 kilohertz. It's down a tiny bit. Not much. You can do the decibel ratios yourself. 10 times the log of those power ratios, 30 to 29.07. It's not down much. Still a half percent THD right there. 20 kilohertz. That's pretty darn good, isn't it? Okay, now let's switch over to uh, this guy right here. I've got them all set up. All I'm going to do is switch the load. And I'm even going to run it at 30 watts. It's rated at 40. All I have to do is move the input to here. And we're going to start again at 2 kilohertz. Okay? So we just moved from this amp. All I did was move the uh, input from this amp to this amp. And I've got everything set up so that they're running the same. This one's actually rated at 30 watts. This one's 8. Uh, rated at 40, but I'm going to run it at 30. And all I ended up doing was switching the loads up here. This switch right here. No, it's too big. Resistors, okay. So there we go. Here we are. 30 watts, 0.3%, 2 kilohertz. Looks great, doesn't it? Okay, and then let's do it just like that. Let's go back to 20 hertz. Takes these things a, a second to kind of get their head together at 20. There's our 20 hertz right there. It's down a little bit, a tiny bit. 
not much. Pretty insignificant from 30 watts to 29.8. 0.4% THD, all that's, that's good. That's completely acceptable. That's in the era, you know, that's, that's an acceptable era for you know, or even our equipment and we got good stuff. Okay, there it is at uh, 200 hertz. 201 hertz, 0.3%, 30 watts, 22 kilohertz. Wow, look, it's already dropped to 25 watts. I didn't expect that. I, there's 2 kilohertz. 0.3% is good, but it's already dropped to 25 watts. Now let's go to 20 kilohertz. See, there's our 20 kilohertz. Dropped to 24 watts, 1.2%. That's not a Macintosh. And it's being run 10 watts below its rated output. So go figure. What do you think? Now, I've done a good job of cleaning this guy up. Uh, I've done everything right. It's got the best of the best in it. Tubes, um, voltages are correct. The only thing I have not changed is I have not changed the... Uh, the uh, signal capacitors. It's got a couple of point two twos. I think the two twos go from uh, this last 12x7 stage into here. Then there's a couple of point oh four sevens, whatever. There's about six capacitors in there in, in the signal path. And I'm thinking about changing them, but I have very carefully and lovingly measured the ESR of them, and I've compared them to brand new ones, and they're the same. But this guy right here just doesn't perform. I'm disappointed. And I'd like to fix it. What do you think? You can see. Yeah, there, there's no there's no doubt that, that this little fellow right here really outperforms it. And this one's rated, I'm running it at its rated power. I'm running that one at 25% below its rated power, and it just doesn't work. There's something wrong with it, and I can't figure out what.